happened here? This place has been ransacked. They've all been slaughtered. Prewen. No, not their style. Where has Harriet gone? She must have left a trail I could follow. Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You, at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. 
You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge. My champion, Bittersweet. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you! <coughs> My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet. You must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Oh, 
need your mother, child! No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. It's over then, young Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget? What are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered, with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's all over now. The epidemic has been stopped. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize, really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you, really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too. 
now that all is over? No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. <laughs>